Hey guys, in today's video I will show you a site with uh, over 80,000 free fonts, out of which uh, over 16,000 come with commercial use license, which means that you can use these fonts for all of your designs, both personal projects and, and your business like Print On Demand, Etsy, Amazon KDP. There are a few more videos about free font sites, so make sure to check them all. You'll find a link to the fonts playlist below the video in the description. On this channel I post videos about how to find, edit and sell public domain works, free graphic design tools, helping you to make money online and software reviews. Check also my Gumroad store where I post a lot of PDFs with many sources from these sites. So the site that I will show you today is called Fontspace. It has a lot of cool features, over 80,000 free fonts, out of which 16,000 come with commercial use license, many of which are perfect for your crafting projects or print on demand business. This video is a little bit long, so if you find any information too basic or you simply want to skip and choose uh, what you want to watch, then check the timestamps down in the description below and navigate to the section that interests you. Regardless of the nature of your business, I know that you will find here something for yourself. So I start by showing you the licenses. And under the license info, they have both licenses covered. Personal is covering your scrapbooking, your personal site or blog and flyers for your family or friends, birthday, non-profit organizations and making your own designs on t-shirts. So basically, if you are making something for yourself or, or your friends or family and you're not making money, then you're good to go, which kind of allows you to use all 80,000 fonts and <laughs> this is just an enormous amount of fonts to even go through. But you have the choice of doing that. Commercial use license states that you can use it for all your business designs, posters, flyers, which is great for crafters, uh, t-shirt designs also for designing SVGs and printables. They do mention that you can use it in your book, so it is perfect for Amazon KDP covers too. Uh, what you cannot do is to resell the fonts. Um, or group them or bundle them up and sell them as they are, as the rights still belong to their respective authors. On their homepage we can find search bars on the top and here in the middle. We can use these to search for fonts, styles, even designers. Also handpicked fonts of the months, so they do change on a monthly basis. There are some tools that will help us preview the fonts and we can type our own text in here and see how it will look like. Uh, using the slide tool we can change the preview size. Uh, we can also change the font color. We can reset the preview. We can also copy the link and it's sort of a permalink. So all of the changes that you have done in the preview, they will be copied and you can actually send it to your colleague or friend and or your employer or to a customer and let them choose actually uh, the font which they would like you to design the project. So down below we have a few links to featured font collection, browse the, you can browse here the newest fonts, uh, browse uh, the most popular fonts. Uh, we have six tabs here, I will choose the first one, fonts, and it is defaulted to show us the new fonts that were recently added. But as usual there are a few more tabs in here which you can actually use, so you can uh, see what's popular, what are the popular fonts. Um, the random choice, uh, random font generator, um, only strictly for commercial use fonts. The, the, the fonts will ap appear in alphabetical order and I presume this is by the creation timeline. So it says here there are 32 years of free fonts. Uh, the next tab which I wanted to show you is for styles and here we can narrow down our search by choosing the font style. So let's say that you are in a wedding invitation niche and you are creating printables and sell these on Etsy. Then under trendy font styles, uh, the first entry is for weddings. So once you click on weddings, all these fonts will come up uh, that were assigned to this category and you can easily find nice ones here. To sort out the results so that we are only presented with commercial license wedding fonts, mark the circle which says show only fonts that are free for commercial use. So I will scroll down a little bit to font called Foglighten number 07. And some of the fonts come with different variations like regular, bold, italic, thin and many other. Uh, some of them they 
uh, are just a single font. So what I mean by that, you might get a whole family of fonts uh, and you might have just a single font. So a family of font might have any number of fonts between two and, and 15. And to see the extra fonts here on the main page, just under the font preview, we can uh, see two dots. And so each time you hover over another one, the preview will show a different variation of this font. Uh, from the screen, we can do a few more things. Um, preview the font in an image and copy. So you can uh, you add a solid background and save the image. Um, obviously, you can change the text from subscribe to any other text. And you can copy the link and just send it and save the image as well. And we can add the font to the collection, which uh, works really well if you are registered on the website. And by the way, the registration is free, so you can create a free account and play with the site. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything actually on the site. And also we can download the font directly from here. But I'm always a fan of checking the individual fonts page so that you can get some extra info and see a lot more what that font has to offer. So just click on the font on the preview and we are taken to the fonts page. Most of the time there are images provided by the author showing the font and individual characters. And here we have a similar preview like on the previous page. But this time we can check a lot more in here. Obviously the, the tab is exactly the same, but here there are some more informations and we can view the characters that come with the fonts. And in this particular example, there is nearly 1600 of characters, which is quite a lot. The next tab hides three things. You can view the info. So here are all font details. When was it created and by whom? Uh, open type features also. There are more details in here. You can copy and paste characters. So just any character from here, you can copy and paste. And also you can download the file. But bear in mind that if you download the file from here, you will only download a font in this particular style. So you won't download the whole family. Uh, in order to download the whole font family, you'll need to scroll down below and then click on the free download. Once clicked, you will download a zipped file with both of the fonts. And in some cases, additionally, you might get some other files as well, like license, or uh, sometimes there is even a graphic or help sheet, which will uh, show you which keystrokes you need to use in order to get some characters. Let's check what else we can find here. So we have more info about this font, like the release year, number of downloads, number of collections that this font has been added to and likes. Uh, there are related styles here. And there are comments, and this might be also a treasure of info, provided that you have extra time to browse through it. And also, if you like this designer, then uh, on the very bottom, are there are more of his work showcased. Not all, obviously. In order to see all fonts uh, added by this designer, you can click anywhere where you see his name open a link in a new tab, he or she has uh, 78 fonts and over 4 million downloads. So all of these fonts, they are free to download. But please bear in mind to check the lines. So let's get back to the font styles page. Uh, if you're a Cricut or Silhouette machine owner, you'll find many great looking fonts here. Just check the script style fonts. Oh, by the way, all the preview settings stay until you reset them. So once you mark that we want commercial use fonts, we only see fonts with that license or uh, until we change the preview settings. Let's check another tab and this time we check the collections and here we'll find all the popular collections or new font collections. Uh, these are created by members and you can create your own collection by creating a free account on their site. So the font generator is quite cool too. You can just find it in the, as the fourth tab. And using the font generator, you, you can just type the text in here and you 
do not have to install the font. The, the free copy and paste generator will do it for you. Just type in the text, click copy, and you can paste it into your Instagram bio, Facebook post, or anywhere where you would like to use this font. And that's it, you're done so quickly. And there are a few fonts that they are actually showcasing in here. Not all of them, they are nice. I presume if you're logged in, you might have more font choices. Another cool thing on this site is if you just click here on the Lenny face, you can create your own emojis, emoticons, and you can just play with the characters. And once ready, copy to clipboard and paste onto emails, comments, and video descriptions, as I've seen some of the YouTubers doing it. Um, in the next tab, we can check the designers. Uh, by default, they appear by the downloads number. So, for example, this guy, he has over 35 million downloads and 368 fonts. But we can just sort them out by the number of downloads, number of fonts, newest name and most active. So as I've mentioned before, I'm not trying to push you to create a new account, but the 100% free account allow you to create font collections, keep track of your downloads and uh, obviously more and it doesn't cost you a penny. So, so I would like to show you what not to use. Uh, I do not recommend to use fonts like Disney or even with their characters as uh, these are trademark characters like you're going to see on this page. Um, and it's better not to go into battle with Disney. So whenever you see a font which reminds you of Disney, Nike, Friends, Game of Thrones or any of the big and famous brands names, then just stay away. Never use their trademark names in your designs, especially when you run a home-based business and you do not have license from the, for example, Disney to use their logos, trademark names. It's very tempting to whip up something in Photoshop or other graphic design software and list it on Etsy. Maybe you have even seen others doing so and they had some success with it, maybe even hundreds of thousands of sales. Well, eventually their stores will be shut down by Etsy. Um, they might get into legal trouble with these companies and this is simply not worth it. Especially if you want to create a long-standing home-based business, then steer away. I've seen people on Etsy creating SVG files or selling t-shirts with Disney designs. Also on Amazon KDP, the non-content books, some of these come with Disney, Marvel, Game of Thrones or Friends-like fonts and designs. And majority of these, if not all, are trademarked. All of these designers and sellers eventually will lose their accounts as the bots on these marketplaces are smarter every time they scanning the site's contents and they automatically shutting down accounts with any illegal content as neither Amazon, Etsy or any other of these big players does not want to deal with the legal matters, especially not when they have millions of sellers that are creating legal content for them, so they're not breaching the rules. Um, you can do obviously whatever you want, but bear in mind that if you willfully and knowingly breaking the rules, you will eventually pay for that by losing the account and this is the least what can happen, that you will earn a few hundred bucks and lose access to the site. I think that I went a bit off topic, but with the info in here, with the amount of fonts, I don't believe that there is, you know, a reason to use these. So one more other thing, uh, have fun on the site, it is free. Not entirely a public domain stuff, but the fonts with commercial use license are a great bonus. And you've got obviously 80,000 fonts to go through to check uh, various styles. And you can maybe find something in the collections, play with the various generators. If you find a font and, and comes with personal license and you're, you love it, then there is uh, really a link to buy that font. And you can easily buy it from other places. There is a, a buy at Creative Fabrica, you can donate. And also there are some links to um, designers page and you can actually buy it from there. And check also the cool fonts. Uh, those are really, really cool, uh, interesting looking fonts. Link to that particular category is in the description below. If you like the video, then show me some love and like, share and comment. And if you're really inclined, then subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.